Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be testing noise and low ESR capacitors. So I have a 35 amp Racer Star ESC set up on the bench and we're using the RC Benchmark 1580 series. Uh, it's, just, it's just amazing. I'm, I'm in love with it. I could just script it. So we're going to be testing noise. Now what the motors I'm going to be using is the Racer Star 2205S 20, 2600 kV and the Emacs 2205S 2300 kV and DYS Fire 2300 kV uh, that's on the bench I'll show you in a little bit right now so we're gonna be measuring the noise with the oscilloscope here and we're gonna be running the motors on the thrust stands and I've created a small script that'll induce noise and we can actually see how much this benefits so here's the bench thrust stand and um, as you can see I've kind of modified this ESC to make the capacitors just plug and play because it was actually getting very annoying just to keep soldering them in and out in and out so uh, here we have the DYS fire motor it's gonna be the first on the list it's gonna be the first that I'm gonna show right now because it's gonna be the one that I'm gonna run first right now and we have these two wires these are gonna be running to the oscilloscope from the probes the probes are gonna be connected here and we're gonna run our script and induce the noise and see everything with cap without caps and each rating of the cap I'll have everything on the screen so you guys don't get lost so and just a couple things before I begin, uh, this is not going to be a thorough test, this is just a quick test just to show you guys before I do my complete testing, I'm still setting up my environment to test flight controllers and uh, everything, all these myths, you know, uh, long ESC wires, long battery leads, all that good, all that good stuff we're going to be testing, even grounding your ESC doesn't make a difference, hopefully we can see a difference, if not on the oscilloscope then I think there will be no difference unless it's like ESC specific difference. Alright so enough talking, let's get started. Alright guys, so as you guys saw, uh, for some reason the 470 microfarad 25 volt capacitor is actually outdoing the 35 volt capacitor. The this It's the same rating, the same microfarad rating, and the, the 25 volt it seems it's doing a lot better um, in all the tests, which is pretty crazy. I mean, not much better, but it's actually noticeable. Like for example, on the Emacs, the Emacs on the 25 volt rated one was 13 volts was the min and the 35 volt it was 12.2 so that's 0.8 of volt difference and um, it's just very minute changes but the best overall so far out of these was the 470 microfarad 25 volt low ESR Panasonic capacitor which is this guy right here and he's not that big he's, he's not big look, look at the 35 volt so I mean this guy is, is not that big to actually add uh, let's just take in perspective here something that's it's uh, about that much. Um, hold on, let me measure it for you guys. All right, so the diameter is 10 millimeters, and the height is um, 12. I can't see on camera. Yeah, 12.5, 13 millimeters. So it's it's not that big. I mean, it's, it's pretty big, but I mean, it's better than the 1,000 microfarad low ESR capacitor. Check this guy out. And this guy's rated for 25 volts. Imagine the 35 volt one. Um, that one we'll be testing later on in other videos when I go into detail in every motor. So uh, wait for my upcoming videos. I'll be testing all the motors in detail and a lot more ESCs in detail. This was just a broad view of just three motors and um, 
and just the capacitor is just what I have right now so just for you guys to get an idea of what's coming on and it's gonna be more detailed so uh, videos for you guys to actually see everything and hopefully make sense of so I really hope it really helps someone out there and I really hope you enjoyed it and if you liked it please leave a like below and subscribe and don't forget to share please share let people know let people see because I do this for this community and nobody else really so Take care, guys, and happy flying, and I'll see you next time. See ya.